Since the summer, we have been following the progress of high school dropouts getting a second chance through an intensive program run by the National Guard. Tonight, Michelle Miller tells us more about the sergeants who try to motivate the cadets at the academy near Los Angeles and what motivates the sergeants. Give me one solid word. You know what I'm talking about. There you go. That's the kind of effort I'm talking about. Just remember why we're here to intervene and reclaim in these 16, 18 year old high school dropout lives. Why are you just standing around? We want to push discipline and structure from day one. Down! Up! One per sergeant! Even though you're going to be harsh, even though you're going to be intense, you're always going to be appropriate. Everything we do is for a reason. You're always going to keep in mind as if they were your own children. Attention! First Sergeant Michael Scott is the Sunburst Commandant. He's in charge of the cadre, the 28 sergeants who've made it their life's mission to turn these at-risk students' lives around. People often say, oh, you work with bad kids. And I immediately say, no, I work with kids who need a second chance, kids who have potential but have not yet unlocked that potential. I'm trying to set you up for success. 47-year-old Sergeant Timothy Edwards spent a year in Iraq before coming to Sunburst. Uh He's a no-nonsense, hard-nosed Army vet. Panthers! He lost his mother when he was a child and understands what these young rebels need. We are not here to be mean, but you will listen to me and my cadre. Do you understand? Everybody makes mistakes. There's not a perfect human being on the planet. But when you make a mistake, you look in the mirror and you own it. You tell me why you don't have your socks on. That's what he's tried to teach Marissa Stowe. He knew she was stuck. going to be a challenge Stop. from day one. Your socks are stuck, so everybody's going to pay. Jumping jacks, go! Up, Cadet go, Stowe go, showed up to the academy, and she, she stands in this way that basically, I don't care, I don't give a damn, this and that. You better work hard for me, you understand? Yes, Did we not have a conversation when you first came here? He talked to me so many times to get me to, like, Pay attention. He motivates me, really. I have a saying, all you got to do is what? All you got to do is what? Breathe, Sergeant, breathe! That's it. Because all you got to do is breathe. I'm going to control everything within your environment until you get on track. Sometimes the first step is scary. 34-year-old platoon sergeant Peter Gutierrez came to Sunburst after a tragedy in his own family. Five years ago, I lost my brother to violence in the streets. When that moment happened, I knew I had to change other people's lives. I see a lot of myself within these kids. Around. Next candidate, what's your last name? We let them know that, you know, we can't change the world, you know, outside of these walls, but we can change what, what goes on with you. Hey, go back and take that cover off and put it on properly. Hurry up. You know, we're portrayed as a hardcore, screaming military sergeant, you know. Look, I have tears will come. I have cried. Oh. Hip hop lollipop. Let me hear my pictures rock. We get to know these kids on a personal level, and we truly care about their success. Let me hear you three more times. Run, 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 Total life. Total life. All right, let's go. And while working at Sunburst is their full-time job, 74% of the sergeants are active duty and can be called up to go to places like Afghanistan at any moment. There is one month to go in this program, Scott, so our next story will focus on how these dropouts go from F's and D's to A's and B's. Amazing series, Michelle. Thank you very thank much. You.